Welcome back to Behind the Sound and welcome back to our YouTube channel guys. My name is Ardil and I'm really proud to introduce a new series on the Audi TTS that's behind me. You may have seen on some of our previous series that we've done an Audi TTS before on a full Behind the Sound series. However, this system is completely different. That system was focused around being a stock look and not much bass added onto the system, more about clarity. This system is not only gonna have that clarity system to it, but we've also got a huge build going on, plus a load of bass too. So if you're new to our channel, haven't seen this before, hit that subscribe button below. But also guys, we have a massive 10K subscriber giveaway. Details are in the description below, plus there's a full video on that, so make sure you go check that out. In today's video, we're talking around a bit of the product overview, but also going through a little bit where about stuff's gonna be located. And there will obviously, as these behind the sound series go on more and more content coming on this vehicle so make sure you have subscribed guys so in essence, to start off with, this car's actually come into us with the Bang & Olsen system installed. So that's the factory upgraded system, basically meaning you've got a three-way front end, you've got rear speakers, and you've also got an amplifier running it, all running from and controlled by the factory system with a virtual cockpit on this vehicle. However, this is all gonna change. However, on the front end of the vehicle, the way you use the system in terms of interactivity using that factory virtual cockpit, that doesn't change at all. And also in the front end of the vehicle, we're actually doing a stock look. Because the components of, from an aftermarket system are always going to be better than the stock system, whether it's Bang & Olsen or non-Bang & Olsen, it's always going to be better. That's why we're actually taking the three-way front end that's in the car currently down to a two-way. So we've got a tweeter on top of the dash which basically sits under the Bang & Olsen grille there. Then we've got a three inch in the door, which is located around about here. And then you've got the driver at the bottom of the door, which sits a bit lower down. So that's the three-way system in the front. So that's being changed over to the two-way system. In essence, we've got new components here. So this is the Hertz Mille Pro tweeter. As you can see here, the quality of it is really, really nice. It's not the largest tweeter that we do. We do quite a few different options and all these sorts of systems are designed and specced completely in-house. Customer came by, had an audio consultation with me. We sat down and actually designed every element of the system. So reason why we're doing a two-way front end rather than a three-way front end is a little bit down to during that audio consultation, the conversation that we're having, price point that we want to get into and also the sound quality that we want. Basically, this customer's after not only increasing clarity in the system, but also increasing volume, as well as retaining that clarity at higher volumes, as well as lower volumes, but also adding a hell of a lot of bass, which we'll move through later on in the video. But today, basically start off with the tweeter is basically gonna sit into a stock location. To mount these into a stock location, we're probably gonna be 3D printing um, a part or a panel to basically allow that to sit into the stock location. So there's no damage done to the actual factory panel itself. So that's gonna sit on top of the dashboard and you're not actually gonna see that at all. It's gonna be completely hidden away. Obviously, as the stock tweeter is here, basically that's firing up into the glass and then kind of dispersing everywhere. There's no control over the system because you haven't got a DSP. In this system, basically what we're gonna be having, yes, it's gonna be in a stock location. However, what we're gonna be actually be able to do is actually allow the actual DSP and the processing power, which we'll run through later on in today's video, actually to control it and what's called time align, move the sound around the vehicle to give the perfect setup. So it's a little bit of a compromise always. We always, generally speaking, want to keep that tweeter on axis because higher frequencies should be directed to you. However, we've got to compromise and look at the vehicle that we're working on, whether you want a stock look or if you do want custom A pillars, just like we've done in Wilfred Zaha's car recently, as well as Shmi 150's uh, SLS Black Series, they both had custom A pillars built. So that is an ideal solution. However, if you want a stock look, that's not a problem. We can tune that and part of the setup that we do actually after the system's done is actually correcting the mistakes that this is making. So that's gonna be sitting up on top of there. Then we've got the Hertz Mille Pro six and a half inch driver. This is a really, really nice speaker. The reason why we're actually using the Hertz range for the front end of here is because the customer is not only after that clarity that's gonna come from that tweeter, but also adding a little bit more mid bass into the front doors. And these do really, really kick. Basically, mostly because of the actual cone design, how it rolls over, it gives a lot more excursion for the cone than stuff from the Audison range or some other products that are on the market. So if we are looking to add more mid bass into the vehicle, then these 
are a really, really nice set. You've got the Hertzmiele Legend set, which is above this, and then you've got the Hertzmiele Pro, which we use a hell of a lot as well. But the Alderson Thesis Sax also has this same rollover cone, so they perform really, really well as well. So during your audio consultation, this is where every single component is thought about, tailored to exactly how you want it. So this is gonna be sitting in a stock location down here. Obviously, you can see the Bang & Olsen grill. That will all be staying as it is. However, inside this door, not only is it important to choose your products correctly, it's also very important that the install is done correctly as well. So these will be going into a custom baffle that will sit into the actual stock location. But also, inside this door, we're going to be doing a lot of acoustic soundproofing work. Inside here, you've got the back of this card here. You've got a central layer that actually holds kind of your window and, and all the electronics inside that door. And then you've got the back of the door card itself. So it's very important that that all gets acoustically soundproofing. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. Soundproofing does three key things. Basically, it reduces your rattles and resonations that you're getting from a factory door card or any sort of movement inside there. Also reduces your road noise that you're getting on a day-to-day -day basis while driving, which is quite a nice little feature. But also it builds such a far better environment for that new speaker system to work in. So they're going to perform a lot, lot better because that area is now prepped ready for that speaker to perform. Just a little bit of an overview on the front end. So not much else is changing here. So we're just basically upgrading the tweeter and the six and a half inch driver. And we're actually gonna be disconnecting the mid range in the door because once we use the processing power on the system, we're actually not gonna be needing that mid range. However, depending on spec, we would then add that in and we can use different channels of amplification. So one of the key things is customers after having is actually a full build done as well. However, kind of wanted to retain a little bit of that boot space as well. Didn't want to go too crazy on it uh, with a load of fiberglass work coming up and stuff like that. So the way we do a build is obviously designed and specced completely in-house and we go through everything in a bit more detail when you come by for your audio consultation. So make sure you go on our website and book that guys. In terms of the products range, today's video is a little bit more techno. I'm running you through some of the products that are going to be going into the vehicle. However, later on in more behind the sound videos, there's going to be plenty more videos on the fabrication side of it and the build process that we're actually doing, showing you more about behind the scenes. But today's video is a bit of an introduction about the system. So the way we spec the system is basically designed in a way where it maximizes power output to where the customer needs it. So to start off with, we're gonna talk about amplification stage. So we've got two amplifiers in the system, these two here. So we've got the Hertz Mille Pro amplifier, which basically is a four channel amplifier. In essence, gonna be running the actual components in the front end fully active. So as you know, we've got a two way front end in the car. We've got two tweeters and two six and a half inch Hertz Mille Pro sets of six and a half inch drivers in the front. So that is gonna be running what's called fully active. Four channels, basically, fully active means that each channel on an amplifier runs directly to each individual component in the car. Reason why we always try to do that and why we always try and spec the system in a fully active way rather than using crossovers is because of the fact that you get so much more control when we talk about the processor later on, and I'll go through that a little bit later on. But it's going to be a fully active system, system running off that Hertz Media Power 4. Then customer was after obviously adding in a lot of bass. So we're using a couple of products to do that. The amplification stage here, we've got the Audison Voce Uno. So this is kind of the showpiece amp in the system. It is a phenomenal bit of kit. You can see the size of it. If I compare that up against me there, it is really, really impressive. It absolute powerhouse. Um, and that will be running the actual sub itself. So that's down there. So that's a one channel amp. And then this is the 12 inch Hertz Mille Pro sub. So this is a phenomenal bit of kit as well. So I actually run two tens uh, Mille Pro sub in my car currently and this is 112 in this vehicle is going to absolutely rock so it's going to have a load more bass added onto the system you might be thinking well how are we going to hide all these products how are we going to do the build and how are we going to incorporate that into a vehicle obviously you've got the battery down here as well which obviously you need access to uh, at all times so we're going to be building around that building a little cover for it potentially to actually access it whenever you need it so we think about every little detail in a system it's not just that we go we need these products in you need to be able to service the vehicle. You need to be able to use the vehicle as you did before. So we're gonna be working on the fabrication state. And as we go a little bit further into the fabrication element of the actual system itself, when the boys start working on it, we're actually 
going to be going through and discussing how we should do that with you guys but make sure you guys comment below on how you think the layout of this should be what you guys think of the actual spec of the system as well and also what you want to see in future behind the sound video so we can get those videos exactly right for you guys so that's the amplification stage. We've gone through the sub. We also want to talk something like a little bit of a small item on a system, but products like this. So this is a distribution block for the connections wiring. Throughout the whole system, it's going to be connections wiring. Wiring and fuse distribution and the safety side of the actual system is very, very important. It's not only important for your own safety that your install's done very, very well and safely and fused correctly and all the cables are measured and installed correctly, but also actual sound quality as well. There's no point having products like this if your cabling isn't up to scratch. That's why we always run new cables in, run alongside manufacturer wiring to basically maximize the output of these sorts of products the power cable, the distribution cables, the signal cables, every element of the system will be connections wiring. So it's very, very important that that's the highest grade. And there are different levels of actual connections wiring, but again, we go through all of that during the audio consultation. So that's basically a little bit of an overview there. And lastly, in today's video, we're talking about the processor. So this is the Audison Bitnove processor basically in essence the brain of the system so at the moment the Bang & Olsen system in essence what it has is signals going to an amplifier amplifier back out to speakers we're basically changing that so we're going to take signals into a processor processor de equalizes the head unit fixes all the errors that the manufacturer is basically outputting to the factory amplifier getting rid of and bypassing the factory amplifier completely so everything inputs into this stage here and then it outputs and basically corrects everything we tone down any clipping that's coming out from the system, de-equalize the system and actually fully EQ as well, then this system will actually be BitTune. Basically BitTune is a software and a kit specifically designed for Audison equipment. It's a very, very intelligent system that actually uses microphones inside the vehicle once we're all done with the system to actually tune and tailor the system and then I'll do my fine tuning after that to the customer's music taste. So it's a new bit of kit for us that we're going to be using on a hell of a lot of vehicles and it's incredible. We've been using it for a while now and it works really really well and it gives us that extra edge as well so it's quite nice so that basically we'll have that sorted out all the issues basically and this will output then into the amplification stage so the amplifiers in essence are kind of like a in some ways a dumb product basically you've got the brain here so this goes in sorts everything out and gives out clean information into the amplifiers because the amplifiers are only going to amplify exactly what they've got given in they're, they're basically that's what i mean by a dumb product they input stuff they don't know what they're kind of using and it will output just with more volume and more clarity to a better component so having it with a processor makes a world of difference it is an intelligent part of the system and it's used on most of our installs as you've seen by our videos in the past but that basically sends out clean signal to your amplification stage. Amplification stage then goes out directly to the two-way front end and the actual sub. So in, in essence, we've got a five channel system here, guys. So we've got two-way front end, two tweeters, and then we've got the six and a half inch drivers in the door, and then we've got a 12 inch sub. So we're actually taking the number of speakers in the vehicle from the Bang & Olsen system down, reducing that. However, the quality difference is gonna be absolutely insane. The difference is literally night and day. So overall, I'm really, really happy with the product spec that the customer's gone for. I'm sure it's going to be a lovely, lovely system. I'm sure he's going to enjoy it for many, many years. Also, one thing I want to note, which I don't normally touch on, is actually the warranty on this stuff. So because the products are installed by us and also the products are incredible, um, anything that we fully supply and install has a full lifetime warranty. That is literally on everything down to cables, to the install, to every single product in the vehicle that we're installing. So you get a full lifetime warranty as long as this kit is in this vehicle for as long as it is that kit is owned by you and warrantied as well and we'll sort any issues out if there are any but the reason why we offer that lifetime warranty is because generally speaking we don't need to have any warranty issues uh, obviously electronic components are they they can fail over time however the kit that we use day in and day out is stuff that we know that works for a 
years and years. We literally did a deinstall of a system a couple of weeks ago now. That system had been up and running for eight years and it's still got much more life to go. So the kit does last and you actually can move it from car to car as well. So your investment is in the gear and that will move from car to car. So as soon as you want to sell the car, you can actually take out the equipment and move it to another car, which is really nice as well. So the investment is in the gear, but obviously all of that is discussed during your audio consultation. So that's a little bit of a brief overview on the actual uh, kit that's going into the car, where stuff's a little bit going to be placed, but also giving you guys a bit more detail about why and the reasons why you should have certain kit in a vehicle. However, there's plenty more vehicles um, to be done in our workshop. We've got SLS Black Series in, we've got the Continental, we've got Ferrari 488, plenty more to carry on with. So there'll be more videos on those cars as well. So make sure you go check them out. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, but there'll be plenty more on the TTS behind me of the fabrication stages. And as we progress through the install to keep you guys up to date. So thank you very much for watching guys. We look forward to seeing you soon.